Hello and welcome to the video explaining how to set up the copier EA also called as the slave EA on MT4 either your laptop or your VPS. This video is prepared for the copier traders using tradecopyserver.com. First step is to get a Windows VPS. While it is not required for the copiers, we highly recommend that you run the copier EA on a good Forex VPS. You can also run it on your own laptop or your home computer, but running it on a VPS is recommended. By running it on the VPS, it will ensure higher speeds of copy because VPS machines are designed to have better connectivity with most of the brokers. If you don't want to rent a VPS, running the EA on your home computer or laptop is fine as long as it is a Windows based machine and it is always kept running and it is always connected to the internet. This copy system works over the internet, so good internet connectivity is a must. Step number two, create an account on the copy server and get your own unique user ID. All users that want to use this system must create a free account at the main copy server website. In this case, the copy server website we are going to use for our demonstration is tradecopyserver.com. Use the registration form and follow the instructions to get your own user ID. During the registration process, you'll be able to select the user ID you want to use, as long as that is not already taken by someone else. Note this user ID as it is required for all the remaining steps. In this demo, we will be using a test user ID I created and this ID is test user 2. Okay. Now step number three is you need to communicate with your master trader and exchange some key information. The system is designed such that master traders control the operations. So it is very important that you are in connection with the master trader and are able to exchange some of the information required for the system to work. Once you have created your account, make sure you send the following two items to the master trader that you wish to copy from. The first one is your user ID at the copy server website. In this case, the tradecopyserver.com. And in this example, this ID is test user two. To number two, you have to send your MT4 account number which you wish to copy the trades from the master. Now, why you need to send these two is because the master trader has to approve you, your user ID and your account as one of the authorized accounts to copy their trades into. Without their approval, you will not be able to copy trades. While it is not mandatory, it is always a good idea to have the trading account on the same broker as the master because that way you can ensure least possible price variations and recodes and also time variations. You will need to collect following information from the master traders. 
first their user id and in this example we are going to use test user one because that is the one i have set up as a master on the main site second thing you need is the ip address of their vps where their main mt4 instance is running in our case we are running our vps that is set up for this example on this ip address so this is the ip address we will be using for our example now the next thing we need from the master trader is the port number they have opened for direct communication the way these two eas work the sender ea and the copier ea is that they open a direct peer-to-peer -peer communication between the two EAs. That is done through a dedicated TCP tunnel, which is opened at a specific port, which is enabled by the master trader on their VPS. This port number is important for you because it needs to be entered in the copier EA as the input parameter, which you will see in the next few steps of this demonstration. In our example, the port number we are going to use is 27015 as that is the port number we have enabled on this VPS for our demonstration. And the last but not the least, please confirm that the master has approved your user ID and your account number for copying from them. If not, the EA will not work. So as explained earlier, in the example we are demonstrating, we are going to use test user one as the master account and test user two as the slave account. Next step is to start your MetaTrader 4 terminal and go to tools, options, expert advisor menu and add the URL to copy server as one of the allowed URLs. This step is critical because without this, the EA will not be able to connect with the copy server to perform various actions. Now let's see how this is done. For this, first we need to collect or copy the URL that we want to use. For that, you need to first log in to the copier account or user account that you created. For our example, the copier account is test user 2 and with its password we log in once we log in go to download ea section and this is the ea that you have to use for copying and this is the url that you have to add to your meta trader in the list of allowed URLs. So copy this URL, open the MetaTrader that you want to use. In this example, we are going to use a FX Sway demo account, which we have created. And the first thing to do is to go to Tools, Options, Expert Advisor, and make sure this checkbox, Allow Web Request for Listed URL, is checked, and make sure the URL is copied here. Since I already have these two, I'm not going to click OK, but once you add it, click OK. So this step is important and next step is to make sure these two things are done. The allow DLL flag is checked and allow auto trading has been enabled. Let us see how these two things are done. Go back to the terminal, go to tools, options and on the same tab make sure you have checked allow DLL imports checkbox and click OK. 
The next important point is the auto trading. The button that is at the top, make sure it is clicked and shows the green arrow. Next step is to update the market watch window and the history tab. This is an important step and often overlooked. To make this happen, go to the market watch window. Market watch window is opened by clicking on this icon. Right click anywhere inside the window and click show all. When you show all the symbols, this brings all the symbols into the terminal. So the copy EA can then open the trades. If you don't perform this action, by default, very few symbols may be imported and the copy EA won't be able to open trades for the ones that are missing in the market watch window. So make sure you perform this step and also the step where you click on auto trade. Now that all the steps are performed, we are ready as a copier to start copying from the master trader. For this, we will load the EA on one of the charts. Any chart, any time frame is fine. And let us go and see how to perform this action. So for this, you first need to download the EA, which is again available for copiers in the members area under download EA section. Download this EA on your machine. It will download a zip file. Extract the EA file in this, which is trade copier EA and Extract it into and copy it into go to open data folder MQL4 and Experts copy it here since I already have it copied here This one I will not be copying it again Also, please make sure you will only get the ex4 file You will not get the source code, which is the MQL4 file you need the ex4 file Make sure you go back to your terminal into the navigator window. Navigator window is opened by using this icon. If you don't see it in the experts section, click on refresh. I already have this EA here. Open any chart, any time frame. And drag the EA onto the chart. To be sure, let's go through all the tabs. First is the copyrights and the information tab. Second one, make sure this is checked. When you have enabled this button at the top, this checkbox will come in as checked. If it is not, please make sure this button is checked and this checkbox is checked. The next important thing is it will need to import DLLs. The EA uses Windows DLL files to open a direct peer-to-peer -peer communication for fast copying. Without this checkbox, the EA will not be able to use those DLL files. So make sure it is checked. Now, the most important part, which is the various inputs. As stated earlier, the IP address we received from the master trader in our example was this, which we received during the second step I'm sorry in this third step and the port number also we received from the master trader that is the port number now we add the URL which we have copied and put into the list of allowed URLs then our login ID in this case, I'm going to use test user 2 with the password for the test user. And in our example, we are going to copy from test user 1. The next one is the lot adjustment method. In this one, we have three options. 
One is exact copy, which means the lot size that is coming from the master will be used as is. The second one is a fixed value. When you select this, the EA will use the value you have mentioned in the next parameter, irrespective of what the lot size the master has set. For example, if the master has opened a lot size of one, because you are using fixed value, the copy EA will always open the lot size of 0 0.02 only. And the third option is lot multiply. In this one, the EA will ignore the fixed value, but it will look at the multiplier that you have put. In this example, if I choose two, then the EA will open twice the lot size of the master. The next one is the slippage in pips allowed for copy traders. Default value is five, meaning that if the copy trade coming in from the master has a price within the five pips of the price on the slave machine, then only the EA will open the trade. Chart suffix. This is important in case your charts have a suffix. For example, <clears throat> In this particular case, we don't have any chart suffix. Some brokers have a small text after the symbol, like in this case, it will be USDCHF dot dot or USDCHF dot FX or dot M or M, some small set of characters. That is the chart suffix. So if you have a chart suffix, please mention it here. In our case, we don't have any. The next set is incoming symbol and replacement symbol. In some cases, the master may be using a broker and your broker is different. So in this case, the symbols may be slightly different. So let's say US 30. In some cases, the master will have US 30, but the broker that you are using will have US D 30. In this case, for a particular symbol, you can use this replacement. And the last one is optional. You can leave this blank. This is used for some internal processing, so you can leave it. So this is how you set up the EA and click OK. As you can see, the EA is now first trying to connect. Check the credentials on the copy server, which we provided. It is trying to check the permission, meaning are you allowed to copy from the master trader? And at the end of all successful operation, it says connection successful. Then it is trying to connect to the actual master through the dedicated peer-to-peer -peer TCP tunnel. And this message indicates that that connection was also successful. For the sake of this demonstration, we will visit the VPS where the master trader has, has been set up and the master account. And this is the master account that we have connected to. So at this point, when you say connect succeeded, your, your connection and the copying setup as a copier is now complete. Let us do a quick demonstration of how the trades are copied. There are many trades still open, but we will open a brand new trade and see how the trade copy works. Okay, so as you can see, the last trade is 9600.6727. We will go ahead and create one more trade for GBP USD at lot size 0 0.01 for a sell. And as you can see, instantly the trade was copied over here. Let us review the trade. It created 9601.8151 and 
as you can see in the comment section we know which trade from the master was this copied from which is 9601.81.1 this trade was opened at 152308 and this one opened as 152309 it is opened within a second so this is how the fast trade copy works if we close the trade also got closed from here this concludes our demonstration and hope this video was useful for you and it helps you set up the copy EA. Thank you for watching and good luck.